As our heroes climbed the stairs, a terrible coldness chilled them to the bone, and the sounds of the forge faded. It was quiet, too quiet, and then they heard the voice. Oh, this doesn't feel good at all. As the evil vanished, the old king, or what little remained of his human soul, was set free. The artifact slowly restored the balance of the world. Life and its joys returned to the kingdom. In the spring, a new king was elected. The new king offered rewards to our heroes. The knight refused to become the captain of the king's men. Instead, he finally followed his father's hopes and acknowledged his other passion, that of food and ale. He became the king's royal ale provider. The thief was offered riches beyond her wildest dreams, but she felt a longing to go back to the forest ruins. The king granted her wish and gave her reign over the forest, where life slowly returned, restoring it to its former splendor. As for the wizard, he finally understood that the road to success did not have anything to do with the fireball spell. He wasn't sure what it was, but saving the kingdom certainly helped. After being married a few years to a lady named Margaret, she gave birth to triplets. A charmed moment, many said. 
We also do not know whether the father felt pride, shame, or both when each of his children mastered the firewall before the age of one. But despite everything, they all lived happily ever after.